All right, now the last fundamental that we talk about in the address position would be alignment. And for the most part, when we're talking about alignment, we're talking about aim. Now, the one thing that we want to appreciate about the process of aim is that the only thing we want pointed at the target is going to be the club face. Now, to put that in context, I've laid a couple of uh, alignment rods down on the floor. And as I build my address position, as I set the club in behind the ball, this outside alignment roll is the target line. So as I set this club in, I want to make sure that the club itself sits perpendicular to the target line or this alignment rod. Now, by the way, the part of the club that we use as a reference is this very bottom line. For a lot of you, that line is painted white. And the reason it's painted white is because that's your reference point as far as setting to see if that club is square. The top of the club or the sole of the club, we're not really interested with as much as we are that white line or that bottom scoring line, as they call it. She should set square to the target line or perpendicular. Now, in regards to me, me being my feet, my knees, my hips, and my shoulders, they should be basically parallel to the target line. So you can see as I take my address position here, as I take the club back and I bring it through, it's very easy for me to keep the ball moving towards the target by means of that. The biggest mistake that we see is a lot of players will get in the habit of pointing their feet at the target, which will put them naturally right of target if they're a right-hander. And the problem with that is now they have to kind of find some way to get back to target line, so they'll usually come over the top to get to that. So it's a very common problem we see as instructors. Players that pull or hit cuts because of an over-the-top move, a lot of times it's due just to poor alignment. So the idea here is as I take my address position, I want to visualize two lines. The target line and then the line that I'm going to be standing on. Target line is what the club sets on, and that should be square. I'm going to be standing parallel to this. Um, the old timers used to refer to this model as a railroad track. We still teach it. The idea here is that you want to have some kind of visual to help get aimed in the right direction. Now, a lot of you may prefer, again, to throw a curve at it in the sense that I'm going to set up with my stance open. A lot of us do for short game or closed. A lot of us do for drivers. The idea here is these are still preferences. Uh, what I do with my feet is not near as important as what I do with my shoulders. So keep that in mind. I can put my feet wherever I want to, but as long as my shoulders are square to the target line, I can keep the club moving down the target line towards the target. So as you practice, this is one of those things that takes a little patience as your eyes develop. I'm able to lay these alignment rods down on the floor, or you can use a couple It's up to you. But the idea here is, is when you're practicing, train those eyes so that you are parallel to the target line. Now on that last note, I do want to give you a tip a friend of mine gave me years ago, and was Tim Ross, and he told me that for being a right-hander, for every 10 yards of distance, you should feel like you're aimed about one yard left. And I found that to be a pretty good formula. So to put that in context, if I have a 100-yard shot, then as I take my address position, I should feel like the club is pointed dead at the target, but I am 10 yards left of target, one on 10. If it's a 250 yard target, same concept, my club face is pointed at the target, my feet will be about, appearing to be about 25 yards of target left. And again, for a right-hander, it'd be left, for a left-hander, the opposite. So I always found that rule to be pretty cool. Uh, play with it, again, for every 10 yards of distance, you should feel like you're about one yard left of target for a right-hander, or one yard right of target for a left-hander. But in either case, try to be real meticulous about this. Mm -hmm.